this tired, old, dated, ugly looking entrance is about to get a facelift. I think majority of the ugliness comes from that colored glass because this is super dated. Actually, come inside and have a look at it. It's horrible. How ugly is this colored glass? I don't know, some people might like it. Apologies if you do. I don't like it. And I think it really dates the house. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I've never done glass and timber moldings before. And if you're watching this video, maybe you haven't as well. So let's figure this out together. I'm just cutting around the edge of this molding, the molding that holds the glass in, separating where it's been painted over that kind of junction. And then I'll start levering the molding off. These are typically held in place by a few panel pins or small nails or brads. Depending on where you were in the world when you used to watch your dad do this kind of thing. I was in New Zealand hanging around my old man like a fly on a poo. <laughs> a fly on a poo. What a horrible metaphor. Sorry dad, I didn't mean to refer to you as a poo. I didn't really think that through before I said it. But you're not. You're a lovely man. I love you. But I was my dad's little shadow when he was restoring this old heritage house from top to bottom. And part of that would have been timber mouldings. And I'm pretty sure this is how he did it. I never realised either that there was such a market for this coloured glass. So we got all the panels out in one piece and it sold that day for $250, which is sweet because that money can go towards ordering the new glass. And I feel quite resourceful by it going to someone else rather than me just throwing it in the rubbish. You got it out intact. One piece. Who would like to buy this? You can have it quite cheap. The old windows are sealed in place with this foam tape, which I'm gonna to need to scrape off as much as I can and then sand back any of that sort of residual glue. Then I'm gonna get some primer on this timber in preparation for the new glass. But until that new glass arrives, I'm gonna cut up some pieces of plywood and fill the holes where the glasses come out, just for a bit of security. I don't know if you're up on recent Australian events, but we've had heaps of rain and heaps of flooding. And unfortunately, some of the businesses here went underwater. I managed to get the glass from the glazier the day before that factory went underwater. And if you're keen to see how the new glass gets installed, it's totally a DIY job. I'd love to have you join me on that video. It's just there, or I'll add a link in the description below. I'll see you there.